Hey everyone, here we are for another episode of the Fellow Traveller uh, here in Mostar in Bosnia and we're playing against Alexandria, a Ukrainian team. I'm not sure never heard of Alexandria before but um, they seem to have come third last year in the Euro Ukrainian League but we, um, we're playing them in the Europa Conference League which is a tournament I've never really heard of and we're getting absolutely pummeled so far but Alexandria are the only team that I think we've got any chance of getting any decent points against so this will be one of the more interesting games but I do think that they're still probably much better than us because only three players they have that are real in the team are much better than our players and would walk into our team so I think this might be a terrible game where we have very little possession uh, and also we have some injury problems <laughs> I'm not sure if they were, these, these players were injured in the last game, in the last video, because I played a game in between. I'll just summarise that quickly. Um, I think it's just Rednik that we, yeah, we were not playing very well, missing a lot of our chances, and then they scored. They scored a goal in the first two minutes, right? And we played the whole game not being very incisive in attack. They got a player sent off, so we went all out attack. We got more chances, but we still didn't play very well. And then the lad even got us a goal in the last ten minutes, which got us a point. So we're not the best run in the league. Um, and I think, actually, I think Sakanovic and Osman Kovic must have been injured before. Oh, no, no. Osman Kovic has been injured between these games. He's our best centre-back, and he's out for three months, I think. Shit, three to four months. And Sakanovic is out two to five weeks. <laughs> Magic Gomez is still out for, like, six, so yeah, so five to seven months. Uh, I've got a few trial players. I don't know I'm going to buy them, but I'm just trying to pad out the team with a few more... Um, uh, a few more players that fit the Bosnia League's requirements. So you only get three foreign players in your team, which is not that bad actually. I could probably have four and play three of the most touching now. Magic Gomez is out for six months. So I might look into buying someone in January. Um, but yeah, so they have a very loose, it's not just Bosnia, it's also North Macedonia, Montenegro, and Serbia. So I'm looking to get a few Macedonian and Serbian players, especially because some of them are very young, like this guy. I, might, I think I might try and sign because he's so young. And in between, I think, last game and this game, as you can see, I'm offering on that Serbian. We bought um, Will Norris, the goalkeeper, who I don't think he's played yet. He doesn't speak Croatian at all, so I don't want to play him straight away. And David Milankovic, who is Serbian, uh, because we need cover for attacking the field left. I don't think we had those last game. Uh, sorry, last video. They played against Radnik. Um, not Norris, actually, but. Milankovic played not particularly well, but he's out of match practice, so hopefully he'll play better this game if we need him, because I think we're going to play Milanovic. Yeah, and we're going to play a defensive 4-1, 2-2-1, or 4-5-1 with wingers, whatever you want to call it. Uh, do you want Milankovic on the bench? Oh, he's unregistered, of course. He's not registered the Europa League, the Europa Conference League. We've got Franic as well. So Franic and Osman Kovic are our best centre backs and they're both injured. So we're playing Tadic who's our third choice centre back. And Kubara, who is our second choice. I'm trying to take Mergan off. I think Franic has got enough fitness that he can come on. Yeah, so we're in quite a bad state at the back. <laughs> um I do want someone who's defending. Is there a better person than Radovac? Oh, Hasanovic, of course. Yeah, they only swapped over those two. Hasanovic is more defensive. Yeah. Right, has been on good form, but actually, Adam has been better form, but he's injured. So yeah, I think we have to stick with this team. Glissic has not scored a goal for a while, I think, as well. Oh, no, he scored in there. I remember the one shot we had in that Sintetia game. Anyway, let's get to this um, still very difficult um, Europa Conference League game against Alexandria. Yeah, time to just going to have to play. I don't, I don't really have any flexibility in that position, so I can't even think about not playing him. Okay, they appear to have quite a good striker. He's very strong. Mm, he's not incredible, but he's very good, actually, by what, the vague recollection I can see. They're not playing particularly attacking as well, so maybe we'll be able to 
grind out a nil nil draw or something. Be great, great um, content for the video. But um, the other thing is after this game we're playing our. Um, I'll just skip that. We're playing our rivals, Zorinsky Mostar. The more right wing club in the city as well. So that should be an exciting game. I think that we'll probably lose because they're only third in the league and we have a lot of injuries and a lot of problems. Raf Ramich was gonna really screw up though. See the thing about this tactic as well, when you play one striker quite isolated. As you often have to do in a very defensive formation. Go on, Aladdin. Best chance of the set pieces, actually. Put another cross in. Oh, maybe Radovac could put a cross in. Oh, it's close in the end. But yeah, when you play one striker up front, um, you really need that striker to pull out all the stops, or at least to have a, you know, if, you, if they don't have a good game, or even a decent game, you're in a really bad spot. And Glesic, not. Not that reliable in that kind of role. Oh, guys, stats are collapsing. Oh, you know what? We're dominating possession. I think we might switch to balanced and see how that goes. Oh, I guess we lose a lot of possession. <laughs> um, and they're not playing particularly well. I wonder if in the second half we might want to go more attacking. Is that a penalty? Is that a penalty? Or is that a Oh, VAR. Oh, wow. <laughs> Got a very long name. Um, but I've never seen this happen before, the um, VAR check. Because I'm not in a... This is the first competition I've played in where there is a VAR check. I think he's going to give it the other way because the commentary implied. Oh, no, free kick has been awarded. Okay. Wish we got a penalty rather than a free kick, but... Okay, so we played pretty well that half, a lot of possession. They've had no shots on target. God, it must be a horrible game to watch. Four shots, one on target, in a half. Um, yeah, I think we should encourage the team as well. I think we should give some players. Why I have faith in you, talks. Assertively tell the defence that we have faith in them. And then Glesic. I'm very passionately telling my faith in him. Yes, because we've got your keeper on the bench, so we have got options. I do think I might need to take a lad enough. He's both tired and not playing very well. And yeah, I, I risked it for them. I was stressed, I'm unhappy with him. But a lot of lifting, speeches for everyone else. Let's take a lad enough. That was it. Ah, Katic is on the bench though. Yeah, let's bring Katic on. And if we can, I never know how this works. There it is. I know time, no pressure, because this is a high pressure game. And he's very young. Cool. And yeah, actually, I want to change the tactics because we do have the potential in this this selection of centre midfielders to switch to play 4-2-3-1 because Marich can go up and attack midfield. Is Radovac better? So let's keep him at Zala, Radovac, because he's the best of the two, and I'd rather have him going forward than staying back. So now for to play, if we're playing defensively, we're going to have Radovac in deep line playmaker. If we're playing attacking, we're going to have him in Metzala. But yeah, I think I'm not attacking Christ, positive. I think we're um, more likely to win this game than to lose it now. Anyway, we're having a lot of chances, and we might go attacking. Maybe I've completely misjudged this game, and actually we were favourites. I had to Glesic off as well. Um, so you have Kupovic. I do kind of want to take Tadic off because he's so tired, but Ibarra is also. I'm going to check really quickly when our. Uh, oh god, I've got Mostar and Zrinski Mostar even in three days. Um, back to the match. So, I'm going to need some of these players to be able to play against Zrinski. I might have to take Radovac off. Which is frustrating, but. He's so tired, and he is very important to the team. I'm gonna, yeah. I think also, I think he's not. They're not doing much in this game. I think we can go attacking and see what happens. Yeah, actually, let's get Osmic defending. Asanovic can go forward. 
Norwich can be a second striker. Um, wing back. So actually, it might turn out that this is a, a not quite as boring game. Actually, out of possession, let's play really high. Fuck it. Let's make something happen. I mean, the thing is, if we draw this game, then we're still really far off. Oh, bloody hell. There's this glitch in this game. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Where if you make loads of changes, sometimes it will change both the formation and bring players off. It responds really badly. <clears throat> and just seems to be unable to give the team talk. Happened a few times. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna change tactics again. <sighs> Annoying that you have to watch it twice, but it's not the end of the world, I guess. <clears throat> then I'll switch. Defend. Make all these players attack. Switch attack. Show the strike with attack. I'll leave that just there. Yeah, and then oh no, re high line, I remember. Did it work this time? Yes, it worked. I think. Yes. And we're going to go very attacking. Maybe I'm being too gung ho here. But yeah, if we draw, then it doesn't really matter because we're probably going to drop out. Whereas if we win a game, we get some. Um, I think there's going to be no Carlos there. Um, we have to kind of try and win, basically, is a summary of what I was trying to say. But it's <laughs> fucking mad because there were no more highlights. What a really boring game. And I'm sorry that you had to watch that for the first 10 minutes. Hopefully the Zrinski Mostar, yeah, we did the same five. We played pretty well. Uh, hopefully the Zrinski Mostar game is exciting. Yeah, that's Tysonovich is unlucky. I don't really know what happened. I guess we just defended really well. But we got a point. I think we got some money for that as well. Yeah, 50k. Yeah. Goalless. Make, how to make chances count as well. Yeah, like 12 shots in the end. Anyway, I'm going to pause and come back in for the um, sprint to get my start game. One other thing that I was going to mention actually, because of the 550k reminded me, uh, we're actually in an incredibly good financial situation. That's why I've started um, spending more, buying some more players, because I just think I think we can win the league if I buy maybe one more player, but I've already bought two, so we'll see. But yeah, good finances. Back in a second. Yeah, so here we are, the second game against Zrinski Mostar. This is our first, I think it's our first, um, Mostar derby. No, we played them the first game in the league. Um, so long ago it feels now. But, um, but yeah, it was our away Mostar derby. This is the home Mostar derby. We won away, though, so you got to hope that we win at home. I'm taking a real risk, and I play Will Norris in goals, given this first game. I think it's a risk because he doesn't speak. Croatian or Serbia or anything yet. He spent a year in Czech Republic, so he speaks Czech, I think. Yeah, basic Czech, but that's not going to help him with any of the players in the team. <laughs> and I brought Milankovic in for Milanovic, who is not on a very good run of form. We had an injury in between. Um, sorry, yeah, he's, he's, he's got quite bad. Mm, not too bad, but yeah, let's play Milankovic. We had an injury. Who was it again? So Zaganovic is already out, he's my best left back by quite a margin, and now Malic has got food poison. Um, so yeah, his condition's terrible, so we've had to play Franic at left back. I wouldn't mind another... I wouldn't mind bringing Alakadic into the team. Realistically, I'm not going to play, I know I'd say, yeah, let's bring Alakadic. So I've got at least someone who can cover the wings a little bit. So I've got Franic at left back. He's got a minor injury, but he's better, he's more fit than... My lunch for Christ's sake, I think it's 72%. This is going to be a difficult game, I think. We have a lot of tired players. And Zrinski Mostar are not in. Yeah, it's fine. Zrinski Mostar are not in the Europa Conference League, so they'll have a less busy schedule. I imagine they. Let's have a look at their schedule. So they just played Suraki Biriag like a week ago and beat them. And they beat Budrini as well. I think Bria got very good. Oh, they're mid table. So they're in quite a good run of form. They're not very tired. Um, we're doing a few things at once. Hmm. I never had a fist. It's because I'm fancying to cheer about. Um, 
That's what this, this mode suggests anyway. I never know how to open these. They all, they all sound a bit like they could go badly. But I'm very good at, I much prefer picking out players and being like, you've got low morale, I have faith in you. And I probably should have said no pressure to Royal Norwich, but he's already happy, so I'll just leave it. I really want Glissich to score a goal. I think that in these games, um, both like all the games that we're playing in the Europa League and Europa Conference League and all the league games that we're playing right now, it seems like a lot of our look, or let's say like ability to do anything in the game comes down to how well Glissich plays because Djukovic is not been a very good backup striker and Glissich is basically the only striker that he's only able to scores consistently. It might imply that I should be playing more attacking with my wingers. I used to, because I used to always play this sort of wing, wing attack, so that you would go right into the corner of the pitch and then put crosses in. Ah oh, shit, I think this might be... Oh no, no. This is a Velez Mostar counter attack. Overlap, overlap, pass to the left winger, to Milankovic. <laughs> I was going to say Milankovic's first appearance on the stream and he gets a beautiful assist and then nothing happened. <laughs> Oh, Aladdin. Well, hold up play, I guess you'd call that dribble. <laughs> yes. And we might win both of the Mostar derbies this year. I don't know if that's, that's way too soon to be saying that. I can't believe that. <laughs> so stupid. Make the challenge, make the challenge. I wonder if that counts as a mistake. Um, because that looked like very bad defending. But sometimes I can't tell with the match engine what it's trying to portray um, it's not always great sometimes you can't tell if it's meant to be if the machine thinks that it's a mistake or if it just appears to be a mistake in the visual um, good spirits quiet looking up of admiration yeah do it for the fans and I'm going to give Tadic some cautious criticism because I very rarely do I'm not a very cautious manager and the same for Milankovic and Matteo Maric. I'm going to give them some cautious. I might have to be a performance. Maybe I should have been reluctant. Maybe I'll be reluctant. Oh no, I can't do that. No, I'm going to tell um, Glissic that I have faith in him. He never responds well to that, so I probably should stop. <laughs> I'm going to cautiously tell. They're very cautious. It worked out quite well. Maybe I should be, maybe I should be cautious more often. Here we go. I think they've got one of their fullbacks came in for someone that I should be worried about. So I think they're quite good down the wing. Oh, that's a very bad goal kick from their keeper. Go on, Glessic. Yeah, I thought he should have finished that. So how did he manage to miss that? The commentator said. Mm, wasn't the best corner. I did like all the players with forty there. Kibara was the one I would have. I wanted Lees to have the ball. <laughs> He's the fourth choice centre back. I can't believe two of my centre backs are injured. I never buy four good centre backs. I always have three because you just have four players unhappy all season. So I've got this fucking Kubara who's not very good, who suddenly is this great run in the team. Oof, I thought Marich had dispossessed him then properly. I think that's, I think Barris is just the player you're watching out for. Milankovic has got him covered. Come on, get on the counter. Oh, you got pass it into another someone. Is that a penalty? <laughs> yes. I think we might. I think Radovac's taken it. He's got 10 pounds taken. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's kept hold of it, though. No, oh, didn't, didn't quite do much with that. Oh, I can't believe he missed the penalty. I think I might take him off as well. He's not playing particularly well, and we need some. Oh, I saw that winger or oh, fullback actually. It's Barisic. Oh shit! 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 Um, there's not much we can do now. I might just as an aside make Franich not be quite as attacking, and that might have been part of the problem. Make a more attacking midfield, and I'm going to bring Radovac off for Osmich. 
he's tired, he's not playing very well. <clears throat> yeah, I've got to hope that we... I had to on the back, but we've got no cover for centre-back. I think we've got we on the bench, but I would rather have Tanch playing badly than Maid McGann playing well. Oh, Franich, please don't fill us up. Back to the keeper. Oh, nice today, Stevie. Yeah, I forgot. <coughs> I don't think he's made any particularly great saves, but no howlers either. So, go on, Aladdin. He made it happen last time, didn't he? And he's going to make it happen very slowly again this time, maybe? Because that tripled last time. Oh, wow. Oh, Nelico <laughs> Pitch. Oh, that's beautiful. His first goal. For everyone on the stream, Malcolm Cabo is giving you his first goal. He can really change a game, Aladdin. I think him and Radabak are the best players on the team, but he can really um, put the game on the scruff of his neck. Um, I'm going to bring Malik, uh, Maric off, oh, not Malic, who isn't playing actually, because he's got food poison, I remember. See him over there again, Barisic. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, go on the counter. That's a good torch on Glasses, actually. Oof, not a bad shot. Okay, I'm going to bring Ivanovic on for Maric. And. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go less attacking. Let's go balanced. I might even go cautious for the last 10 minutes and then maybe, maybe I'll serve someone off. God, Glissage is not a good game. Um, but I don't want to waste my sub on the striker. I'm going to bring off Tanic. I'm going to do it. I'm going to bring McGann on. Just so we've got our centre back who is not knackered. Yeah. I should if I'm being. Being very cautious, I should just change the formation, but I can't really be bothered. And it doesn't matter because we've won the second Mustard Derby. We're still one point behind Sarajevo at the top, so we have to catch them at some point. But that is a great result. Very happy. Not happy with Glitter's performance, <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, but some very good performances, and I'm very, very happy with Aladdin. And yeah, there we are. That's the Mostar Derby and our best chance of getting points in the <coughs> UEFA Europa Conference League done. I mean, I got one point against Alexandria, which is not going to be enough to stay in the tournament, but um, got us 50 grand. <laughs> this is a lot, I guess, to Mostar. I've only got 2 million in the bank, so 50 grand is a decent amount. And I'm going to bring us back for maybe a game in between here, but there's no really good games. And I do kind of get the season over and done with because I'd like, rather move on because I think we might be able to win the league this season. So I might come back for <clears throat> the last four games in two different videos. Or if I feel like it, I might do Alexandria and Rudar. But all of these league games should be ones that we should win quite easily because Rudar are 10th. Got a lot of easy games. And at the end, we've got first, I think, fourth. 11th and 9th should be easy obviously but at that point we'll be looking if we win the league or not hopefully so yeah thank you for watching the video and uh, have a nice rest of your day